So for this one, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, we don't like, even though we use this very often, when we're calculating a lot of things, we're probably not really going to want to be dealing with too much, too much of dealing with minutes and seconds. We're going to want to convert this over to the decimal form. So remember, when we're talking about decimal form, we have degrees plus 19 minutes over 60 minutes. Yes, right? It's 19 over 60 minutes. Actually, I just have one of them. Plus 20 seconds over 3,600 seconds. Right? Because it takes 60 minutes to make one degree, and it takes 3,600 seconds to make one degree. So now I need to find the decimal version of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take 19 divided by 60. And I'm going to add that to 20 divided by 3,600. And that gives me 75.322. And I can't remember if it said round or I just say convert to radians. So we'll just leave it like that. Um, but we know that this just repeats on, right? Those just keep on repeating, correct? OK. Well, now I need to convert this over to degree format. Remember, this is in a degree, right? So let's just round this to 7.2. I need to convert this to degree. So how do we convert a degree? I'm sorry, we need to convert this to radian. How do we convert a degree to a radian? We need to multiply it by, remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Why would it be pi over 180 and not 180 over pi? There's one special thing that we know that I like to use personally to remember which one is correct. Why do you want to multiply by one pi over 180 then 180 over pi, which is correct? But why do you want to do it? Does anybody know want to raise their hand, Trevor? Yeah? Yeah, because the degree symbols are not going to Because right, if you're writing radians, you're not writing something in degrees, right? Right? Radians is just a whole number or in terms of pi. So when I have a degree symbol down below, my degrees as I say, like they cancel out. So now, all I simply need to do to find my radian form is I just do 75.322 times pi divided by 180. And my answer in radians is 1.31 radians. I can't remember how much they said the round. Um, but it's just going to be 1.31 radians. Okay. Got that one? Got that one? 